Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Smitha and I post videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays on everything related to beauty and fashion. So make sure you subscribe. And today I'm super excited because the festive season is finally started, which means I can let my creative spirit out and create a different look for each festivity. Today I'm starting off with this very fun, long-lasting Navratri look, which will keep you looking fresh even after you dance your heart out. So stay tuned for all the tips and tricks. And without further ado, let's get this started. As always, I'm starting off with my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Dibro Pomade in dark brown. I'm going to use this angled brush just to fill in the sparse areas. And the reason I'm using the Dibro Pomade is because it's waterproof. So even if your sweat is going to drip on your eyebrows, it's going to stay in shape. For that extra layer of protection, you can always use a clear brow shaping gel like this one from Milani, or you can use a clear mascara like this one from Wet n Wild, or the easiest thing to do is take a spoolie, spray it with some hairspray and comb your brow hair just like what I'm showing you here. That will set and seal your eyebrows and keep everything intact. Next, I'm using some concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Pure Beige to clean up the borders of my eyebrows. And then I'm going to bring it down to my eyelids. So this is going to even out the skin tone before I apply any eyeshadows. And then I'm going to set this concealer with some Artistry Loose Powder just so it doesn't start settling in those fine lines and creasing. I'm using some scotch tape to get those clear sharp edges. From the Carity Rosé All Day Palette, I'm taking Bottled Up with a blending brush. I'm going to be using this in the outer and inner corners and joining the two corners through the crease. Next, I'm taking Hooray with a smaller blending brush. I'm going to be repeating the previous step by using this in the outer and inner corners and joining the two corners through the crease. And then I will use the larger blending brush just to blend everything together and soften it up just so there's no harsh lines or edges left. Now taking drunchies with a smaller pencil brush, I'm going to increase the intensity in the corners. I'm going to be applying Frosé to the center of my lid with my finger and then I'm going to blend out the edges using a flat shader brush. And to give the very center of my lid a pop, I'm going to be using pop pop with my finger again and blend out the edges with a brush. To prime my face, I'm using the NYX Photo Loving Primer. Some of these products are my staple products, so you would have seen me use this over and over again because I love these products so much. Never skip the primer because you want your foundation to stick onto something and a primer hugs your foundation and keeps it in place. Another trick, especially for big time dancers who are going to be dancing all day or all night, is to use a long lasting foundation. Today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 hour foundation in the shade 108 which is caramel beige. The Pro Matte is perfect for people with oily to combination skin. They have an equivalent of this for people with dry skin that's the Pro Glow. So depending on your skin type make sure you pick the right foundation. I'm going to apply this with the super soft foundation brush from Hip Dot. 
if you want to look great in those pictures, you have to highlight and contour. To highlight my face today, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Pure Beige, which is hands down my favorite concealer. I'm going to be applying it directly in the high planes of my face, and then I'm going to blend it out with a damp beauty sponge. And to cream contour my face, I'm using the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in Give Me Mocha. Again, I'm going to be applying it directly on my face. And then I'm going to blend it out with a damp beauty sponge. The reason I like to use cream contours to keep my makeup long lasting is because I'm going to be setting this with a powder and sealing it with some setting spray. That'll keep it intact for a longer time rather than using a powder product on top of your makeup. And now I'm going to gently press and set my entire face using the Stay Matte but Not Flat Press Powder from NYX in the shade Sienna. This base, as you can see, is already long lasting, but to give that extra layer of protection, I'm using a setting spray from Wet n Wild. This is their Photo Focus setting spray. This will set and seal your base makeup. Before I move back to my eye makeup, I'm going to spread some loose powder under my eyes. So in case there's any fallout, it's going to fall on the powder and not my base makeup and it's easier to dust it off later. First, I'm taking Bottled Up with a pencil brush. I'm going to soften my entire lash line. Next, I'm going to use Hooray in the outer and inner corners. And then I'm going to use Frosé right in the center using a flat brush. I'm going to be using Pop-Up to highlight my brow bones as well as inner corners. First I'm going to take it with a pencil brush and apply it directly. And then I'm going to use the warmth in my fingers to diffuse this out. That way you get a beautiful glow and it doesn't look very powdery. Now I'm dusting out all the excess powder and then I'm going to be tight lining my waterline with a waterproof eye pencil. This is the Jordana Easy Liner in black. It's always a good idea to use waterproof products, especially around your eyes. If you're like me and you laugh a lot and tear up a lot from laughing, it'll save you from a lot of trouble. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes, apply a coat of mascara. I'm using the Big Shot Mascara from Maybelline just on my top lashes because I like the way they look on my top lashes. And then I'm going to apply a pair of falsies. This is the Ain't No Wifey from Luxie Lash. Again, one of my favorite lashes. They look wispy and they're not over the top. They are just perfect. I like to look a little glamorous for especially Garba nights. If you're not the falsy kind, you don't have to wear it. You can totally skip this step. To finish up my eye makeup, I'm using a coat of mascara in my lower lashes. And this time for the lower lashes, I'm using a waterproof mascara. This is the Mega Length Mascara from Wet n Wild. I also like the wand. It's perfect for the lower lashes. The lower lashes are the ones that have a high chance of smudging. So make sure you use a waterproof mascara. Most of the smudging happens when the mascara is not dry. So another trick is to use some loose powder under your eyes, let the mascara dry and then dust off the loose powder. To look sun-kissed in those pictures, I'm going to be using the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. Feel free to skip the step if you do not like bronzers, but it's definitely going to add some dimension to your face. For blush, I'm going to be lightly dusting Heartfelt from Coastal Scents on the high points of my cheeks. And to highlight the high planes of my face, I'm going to be using croissant. For my lips, I wanted to wear something that would go with my outfit and I'm going to be wearing a plum color dupatta. So I'm using this Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick in Plum The Show, which is a beautiful cranberry red. If you cannot find this lipstick, don't worry because I'm listing several other lipsticks which are a close match to this one in the description box right below this video. 
To finish up, I'm going to give myself a good spritz of the setting spray one more time to set and seal everything. So when I'm dancing, I can focus just on dancing and not worry about the makeup coming off. If you want to look really ethnic, you cannot miss the three dots on the sides of your forehead as well as chin. So using my Italia Deluxe Waterproof Eyeliner, I'm going to keep those dots. I'm using a waterproof eyeliner again so that it stays put till the end. I decided to change my bindi into something larger and something in blue so it goes with my outfit and if you want to know how I got this hairstyle, I'm going to link my video right on top. I used number 6 in the video that I've linked for the front part and number 9 for my braid. This is exactly how I will be getting ready for my Garba Dandia nights. Feel free to add or subtract from this because I've seen a lot of comments under the same video saying it's too much makeup and some people say it's too little makeup. So everybody has a different choice. You can do what you like, but this is how I'm going to get ready. So I just wanted to show you that and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to share this video, give me a like and comment below and let me know your thoughts. For your convenience, I've listed all the products that I've used in the description box below. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon again. Bye guys.